Hi, welcome to Church for Littles and happy Palm Sunday. Today is the day that we celebrate Palm Sunday. We have a wonderful story from the Bible for you about Palm Sunday, but I'd like to see if you remember this about stories from the Bible. If you do, say it with me. This story is from the Bible, so we know that it's true. true. Yes, it's true. To help tell today's true story from the Bible, Detective Daring is coming. Detective Daring likes to look for clues in the Bible story, so pay very close attention to help him find those clues. We'll listen to the story one time first, just to make sure we can catch them all. As Jesus and the disciples approached Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of them on ahead. Go into the village over there, he said. As soon as you enter it, you will see a donkey tied there with its colt beside it. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone asks what you are doing, just say, the Lord needs them, and he will immediately let you take them. So they went and found the colt, just as Jesus had said. And sure enough, as they were untying it, the owners asked them, why are you untying that colt? And the disciples simply replied, the Lord needs it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it for him to ride on. Most of the crowd spread their garments on the road ahead of him, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. All of his followers began to shout and sing as they walked along praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in highest heaven. disciples approached Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of them on ahead. Go into the village over there, he said. As soon as you enter it, you will see a donkey tied there with its colt beside it. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone asks what you are doing, just say, the Lord needs them, and he will immediately let you take them. Did you hear that? The disciples were looking for a colt. That is a young donkey. Now, the next clue I'm looking for. What did Jesus need the colt for? What did he do with the colt? Help me find this clue. So they went and found the colt, just as Jesus had said. And sure enough, as they were untying it, the owners asked them, why are you untying that colt? And the disciples simply replied, the Lord needs it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it for him to ride on. Woo! I'm okay. Ha ha ha. Did you hear that? Jesus needed the colt because he was going to ride it. So cool. Okay. Now my final quick clue I am looking for. What did the people do when Jesus rode the colt. Help me find this clue. I'm okay. Most of the crowd spread their garments on the road ahead of him and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. All of his followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, 
praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. How awesome! The people praise Jesus! Okay, let's listen to the end of this true Bible story. Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in highest heaven. The people praise Jesus and kids, you can praise Jesus too. Thanks for helping me find today's clues. I'm signing off now. I'm Detective Derek. I wonder, did the kids get to praise Jesus too? What do you think? For today's craft, you need some paper, a green crayon, some scissors, some tape and something to use for a stick. We're going to make a palm branch. So the first thing is to draw the outline of a shape that looks like this. Now let's draw a line down the middle and some short lines along the side. Make sure that you stop before you get to the middle line. We're leaving space between the long line and those short lines on the side. We leave space on this side too. Now we get to color it all in with our green crayon. And cut out our palm branch shape. On these short lines, we need to make sure we stop cutting at the end of the line. We don't want to cut that space that's in the middle. or in this case, a plastic spoon, to the back of our palm branch. Now you have a palm branch to wave around for Palm Sunday. Remember to say Hosanna. Happy crafting. Let's review our memory verse while playing hopscotch. Can you say the verse with us? Jesus forgives our sins, saves us, and gives us new life. Titus 3, 5. For more Church for Littles, like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Let's review our memory verse, okay? Okay. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Jesus. Jesus. Forgives. Forgives. Our sins. Our sins. Saves us. Saves us. And gives us. 
Titus. Titus. Three five. Three five. Good job. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I remember, I love Jesus, does he know? Have I ever told him so? Jesus likes to hear me say that I love him every day. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus, in prayer I tell him so. We've had a great time at Church for Littles today. We're going to close our time by praying together, and kids, we're also going to praise God together. During our prayer, there will be a short time where I will be quiet and you will get to say a prayer to God. In this prayer, I would encourage you to praise Jesus. You can just say something like, God, I praise you, or Jesus, I praise you. I'll tell you when it's time. Let's pray. Fold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads. Dear God, Thank you for this true story from the Bible about people praising Jesus. God, we want to praise you too. Okay, kids, now it's your turn. I will be quiet. Say a short prayer to God praising Jesus. Go ahead. Okay, now I'm going to say the words in Jesus' name. And out loud, all together, we can say the word, Amen. Here we go. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for joining us at Church for Littles today. We'll see you next time.